Hello friends, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. In the past episodes that we have done with the series, we have created many amazing builds, including this amazing windmill which took me forever to build, as well as our rustic barn over there. And today's episode is not going to be any different. We have another build that we want to get done. Um, but first, before I do anything, I actually want to get some fish because I really want to go explore that village over in the snow biome area. And I know that villages have cats, so I really want to get a cat. So I'm just going to do this real quick. What? A bull? Ooh, did I just get a potion? Oh no, it was just a water bottle. Never mind. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Um, I want to do a few things before I actually have to go to bed when the sun goes down. Um, let me go grab this XP real quick and then we'll go do all that. I really got to take out my wheat fields and replant them again because it's been a while since I've actually collected from these. And they've just been staying here all grown. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay, just three more spots to go. Take these. And we are done replanting this one. Now we have to just uh, go do the other one real quick. But I don't think I have enough room, so I'm going to have to go put these away in our storage. I have so much wheat. It is insane. <laughs> I mean, look at that. By the time we get to, like, episode 7 or 8, we're already just going to be, like, full of our storage in our windmill. Anyways, let's go finish up this last field real quick. This is probably going to take me a while since I'm running out of inventory space already. And also, the sun's going down, so I gotta go do that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have some leftover seeds and wheat, so I'm gonna go breed up my animals real quick, and then we'll focus on what we actually need to work on in today's episode. Okay, let's grab this, and let's breed up the cows first. Come here, cows. Time for you to make more babies. Okay, now that that is done, I can focus on getting more fish before we head off to the village. And also, I have got to fix up that carrot farm. Also, before we build anything, I'm going to need to collect more wood because I ran out doing the other builds that I've been doing lately. Okay, it's off to the village we go. This is actually a nice big village. I might actually get some pretty decent loot from it. We can also check out the villagers and see if they have any good trades. Uh, hello, sir. Do you have a good trade? Um... That's not bad. I'll, you know, I'll keep you around for that. It's not that bad of a trade. Do you have anything in your house? Ooh, nothing but a purple bed. Okay, um, let's try and figure out uh, if these guys have any good loot. If so, I'm going to take it. And if not, I guess I'm just going to leave it alone. Ooh, iron. I'll take this. And I'll also take the iron pickaxes. That would be great. I will definitely be using those here in the later future. Ooh, this is the cartography house. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. Do they have anything up top here? Ooh, you have a chest. One piece of bread. You want? I'll take it. But, uh, where's the cartographer real quick? I want to see where the cartographer is. Um, oh, is that him? Ooh, hello. Are you the cartographer? Oh, wait, no, I think you are because you have the little spectacle. You are! Yes! Okay, perfect. This is the guy that we need in order to actually get a trial chamber map. So we are going to have to try and uh, move you over here in the later future to actually get uh, you upgraded and all that so I can get that map. Yay, we found that guy. Okay, let's keep checking for loot. And uh, oh my god, diamonds. Oh, that is, oh, I'm, <laughs> that is very rare to get diamonds in a villager chest. Wow. Okay, I'm taking that. Is it starting to become nighttime? Oh, it is. Okay, let's go to bed real quick. I'm so sorry, villagers, but I really need beetroot for my farming district. Ugh, I'm gonna have to take all of this. Hmm. Oh, is that a- oh, that's a cat. Oh, get the fish out. Get the fish out. Get the fish out. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. Come here, little kitty. Yes. Let me love you. Here, I have fish for you. Take it. Please. Please take it. Oh, come on. No. Oh, crap. No. Don't run away from me. Please. Please let me love you. Please let me love you. Oh, please. Please, please, please. Yes. Here. Here. No. Ah, uh, damn it. Come on, little kitty. Let me love you, please. I just want to love you. Let me love you, please. Just take the fish. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. Take it, take it. No. Oh, you little... 
Ooh. He's going out into the ice. No, come back here. Come back here. Nope, come back here. Yes, tame. Yes, I have a pet cat. I did it. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh, I finally have a pet cat that I can love on. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to name you, but welcome to the family, little kin. Oh my goodness. Oh, that took me forever. Okay, let's, uh, let's take you and let's go finish uh, looting that village. Honestly, love. Oh my goodness, that is another cat. Oh my goodness, it's a cutie. Come here. Oh, I don't care. I'm getting two cats. Where is my fish? Where is my fish? Uh, right here. Come here. Where did he go? Come here, kitty. Nope, come here. Ah, oh, there you are. Come on, come on. Yes, I got another pet cat. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta take you guys home. Um, okay. I guess we're gonna have to leave the village for now. Okay, come here, kitties. You are now safe and cuddly warm in your new home. Oh my goodness, that village was awesome. You know what, if this video gets like 20 likes, I will redesign that entire village. I will transform it myself. Now that we got that out of the way, our main focus is to reconstruct this mine right here. Obviously, it's pretty ugly and I just really want to get rid of this and put in something new. So yeah, let's just take down all of this and also try and clear out some more space so we can add a much better upgraded mine that we can actually use and it doesn't look ugly. So I'm gonna take out the support beams and also the roof. I'm not sure if I wanna keep the roof the same way that I had it, you know, with the copper, or if I maybe wanna change it to something a little bit more rustic themed like brick or maybe granite. Um, Cause I kinda of wanna go for like a very rustic industrial theme for this whole thing. And I'm pretty much just winging it. I don't have a build plan for what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to wing it with the color palette as well as the shape and all that. So I'm just going to get rid of all this. And hopefully everything just goes well and I don't end up making it worse. Okay, so now all I want to do is sort of clear out this space so that I have enough room to actually place a foundation. So I'm just going to have to get rid of all this dirt and stone. And pretty much what I want to do is I actually want to bring this out by one if you kind of understand what I'm talking about, as well as bring it down by one. So I'm going to try and take out all of this, and hopefully we'll have a big enough space to actually lay down the foundation for our building. Okay, um, I think that's good enough. I might want to make it bigger if I don't have enough room yet, but I just want to sort of like lay down the outline using mud brick real quick just to see how everything is going to sort of look with the walls in place and all that and see if I need to keep it this way or if I need to make it bigger or longer or so on and so forth. So I'm just going to do this real quick. What I really want to do is actually outline the area where the staircase to my mine is going to be. And I think I'm going to put chisel tough on the bottom and then I'm thinking maybe I'll make the archway out of polished tough. Maybe. Let's see how, what that looks like. Okay, there we go. And is the sun going down? Yeah, the sun's going down pretty soon. So let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, I'm going to keep that like that. Um, I might want to push this back a little bit. Or maybe not. I'm just going to try and figure some stuff out. Then again, I'm just improvising with this. So I'm going to try and figure out how to make this look as good as possible without having to constantly keep uh, making changes, so on and so forth. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I might want to push that wall back like maybe one or two blocks because the archway is kind of being blocked by it. So I think that's what I'm going to do real quick. Okay, so I figured out exactly what I want to do. Um, I took away the mud brick uh, outline real quick because I decided that I want to add a very detailed bottom border to this so it's not just mud brick walls. So yeah, I'm just taking my dark oak and then I'm going to be stripping it here soon. Uh, make sure to leave an opening for our door, our entranceway to the mine. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just going to do this all over. Okay, now let's strip all of this. Uh, let's see. Get that one, and that one, and let's just strip all of this. Okay, now that we have that done, I am going to build up the walls using the rest of our mud brick. Okay, here's what I came up with in the short amount of time. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I exactly want to sort of layer and shape everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's looking decent enough for now. Um, if I need to fix it later, I will fix it. But for now, I think we're good. I need more mud brick. How do I? Oh my goodness. Nope. Zombie. Zombie. Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Nope. Nope. Give me, give me my sword. Die. Die. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, nope, um, I'm gonna have to wait out the storm because I almost just died. Okay, so I forgot to record myself putting in the ceiling, but as you can see, it is done and it's very, very lovely. I absolutely love this design. But yeah, for the most part, we've gotten the main structure of itself done. And now all we have to do is focus on the roof and putting in the last little bit of details, which I actually am planning to put in a chimney like right on this outer side, just to add a little bit more detail and to make it actually look like it's a mine building, you know, where we're actually like burning up ores and trying to, you know, get all that. For the roof, I'm going to do a completely different design. Uh, I'm not going to do the fantasy thing because obviously it would just go way too high and just completely clash with everything. So I'm going to go with a more flatter kind of thing using slabs. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to bring this out. And then I'm going to, hmm, let's see. Um, let's put one on top of here. And then we can take these two and pull them out like this. And something like that. That's pretty much what the roof is going to be like. Uh, now all I got to do is cover this up with the last little bit of mud brick that I have. And, oh no. Oh, we came into a small little problem. Um, you know what? Uh, no, we need, we need to put that there. So uh, real quick, I'm going to... Let's put this here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up by one earlier. So here's what I'm going to do. Just like this. Just like that. Okay. And let's put this here. And I think that is good for our roof. Just putting in the last row of copper. Okay, then all we need to do is pick some random pieces to unwax. Do that and this one as well as this one and then this and then let's wax it again with some honeycomb. And there we go, there's the roof. Uh, we are now complete with that. And we also decided to finish up the chimney. So here, I'm gonna show up this Pretty much. We haven't done any finishing details like lanterns or anything like that, but we did get the main building part of it done. Um, I'm still thinking of maybe adding like support beams just to kind of help break up the building, but for now it looks pretty good. So I think I'm just going to finish up the details real quick and it should be good to do go. Um, but yeah, the inside, it looks a little bit different from now on and I need to change up the floor. But yeah, it looks more nice, more clean, and we're going to add as much as possible to actually make this look very pretty. Okay, time for the big reveal. And ta-da! It is here. I mean, you can't get a full look of it just yet, but uh, here, let me go up onto the dock. Ta-da! It is finished. Um, I added a lot of stuff. I added lanterns. I also added a little uh, detail to the roof uh, trimming on the ends. And I also put this little sign right up here that says the mines on both sides. Anyways, also, let's take a nice look at that beautiful chimney. I mean, oh my goodness, everything, just everything about this build is just gorgeous. And wait till you see the inside. I mean, come look at this. Bam! Oh my goodness, this place, it's its amazing. Oh, I, I gotta say, I put a lot of work into this, and I just absolutely love it. I especially love these uh, little pottery um, pots the, that I did, the little designs. I saw these on Pinterest and I decided to add them in. And it took me forever because I had to go get clay because I didn't have any clay for, uh, for bricks. So <laughs> I had to go get that. And we also have a bunch of storage to put all of our ores and stuff. I haven't done anything yet with this area just yet, but I promise I'm going to kind of clear it out and make it look more pretty. And over here, we just have a bunch of blast furnaces so we can just start, you know, smelting ores and all that. But for the most part, everything is just gorgeous. It is done. It's beautiful. And I am just happy with it. But so on and so forth. That's um, pretty much the end of building. Uh, we also have to do something real quick. I really want to fix my tools because my axe and my shovel are literally this close to breaking. So I got to fix them up with some more diamonds real quick. Oops, wrong barrel. Okay, so I don't need too many diamonds to actually fix them up. I might only need like two for each tool. Let's see. Come on. Uh, no. Give me two. Perfect. Okay. Let's put that. Yep, that perfectly works for me. And it only takes two enchantment costs. 
I can make that up very easily. Uh, what about the shovel? Let's see, let's see if the two will also work as well. Okay, perfect. Okay, that only took away five enchantment cost and now I'm at 25. That's perfectly fine with me. My tools are done. Good to go. I, I'm happy with that. Also, I need to take down this tree real quick just so it's out of the way. Um, I'm going to need some more room for some more uh, trees in the later future because I'm going to need to collect more since I'm running out of supplies left and right. So I'm just going to take this down real quick and we should be good to go. Let's take that last log. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to actually fix this place up when I have enough supplies. It's going to look absolutely amazing when I'm done adding more texturing and all that. Um, oh, there's more logs I forgot to pick up. But yeah, for the most part, we've been doing pretty great so far with uh, building and uh, terraforming and all that. Oh, is that a wandering trader? Ooh, let's go check and see if you've got any good trades on you. Mm, let's see. Oh, you got, oh, you got cherry blossom, uh, saplings. Oh, okay. I gotta go get that real quick. I gotta go get emeralds. I know for a fact that I have emeralds somewhere hiding. I know that I do. Um, are they in my treasure chest? Okay, no, they aren't. Maybe they're in my, uh, ores chest. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, please, please don't leave, trader. Please do not leave, wandering trader. Oh, I need your saplings. Please, 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 please. Don't go. I have your money for you. Okay, perfect. Grab that. And also let's grab some cyan dye because we're going to need that in the future. Thank you. And also thank you so much for the XP. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, we finally got that. We can finally get cherry wood. Oh, let me plant this real quick. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, we finally got cherry saplings and now I can get cherry wood to use to build in the future. I am so happy about that. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that to actually happen. Oh, and also the sun is going down. So we got to go uh, head to bed. Well, friends, that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it, and please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel, and I shall see you guys next time.